The VCU-224, by advancing alternatives, offers climate control for a single greenhouse zone, incorporating crop quality management features. It is ideal for high tunnel and standalone greenhouses, enabling the regulation of ventilation curtains, heaters, or fans. This video focuses solely on adjusting the ventilation and heater set points for your VCU-224 environmental controller. For guidance on wiring your controller, please visit advancingalternatives.com slash knowledge center or click the link provided in this video's description to access the instruction manual. Now, let's delve into setting the parameters for the VCU-224. When the unit is powered on, press and release the select button to access the parameter menu. You will notice that P1 is displayed on screen. This is the ventilation curtain set point, and it controls at what temperature the vent will begin to open. To increase the number of your set point, press the open button, to decrease, press the close button. In this example, we are setting the ventilation curtain set point to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning the vent will begin opening when the temperature reaches 80 degrees. Now that the curtain set point has been established, press select and cycle to parameter 2. P2 is the ventilation curtain runtime in seconds. This setting allows you to open or close your vent in stages. In this example, we are setting this to 15 seconds. This means that when the temperature reaches 80 degrees, the vent will run for 15 seconds and then stop for a determined amount of time based on the next parameter. We recommend setting the run time for the amount of seconds it takes for your curtain to go from the closed position to about 4 inches open. This will allow an initial cooling stage. The next parameter is P3, ventilation curtain idle time in minutes. This parameter determines how long the curtain will remain in position before responding to the temperature sensor. In this example, we are selecting 4 minutes. This means that after running for 15 seconds, the vent will sit idle for 4 minutes prior to opening or closing again. The next parameter is P4, Ventilation Curtain Temperature Differential. This is the amount the temperature must decrease below the P1 set point for the ventilation cooling cycle to end and the vents to begin closing. Setting this number too low can result in unnecessary opening and closing of your curtains. In this example, we have selected 4 degrees. This means that while our vents will open at 80 degrees, they will not begin closing again until the temperature drops to 76 degrees, 4 degrees below our 80 degree P1 set point. The next parameter is P5, heater or fan set point, contact number 3. The default configuration is for P5 to control a heater. The heater will begin its warming cycle when the temperature reaches this set point. In this example, we are setting this parameter to 45 degrees, meaning the heater will come on when the temperature drops to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. P6 is for a second heater or second fan. In this example, we are setting the second heater to 45 degrees as well. In this case, wolf heaters will turn on when the temperature drops to 45 degrees. The heating cycle will end when the temperature has increased by the value of P7. The parameter P7 is the heater hysteresis or fan differential. This is the amount the temperature must increase in degrees above the P5, P6 set points in order for the heating cycle to end. In this case, we have selected 3 degrees. This means the heaters will continue to run until the temperature in the greenhouse reaches 48 degrees. This concludes our overview of the basic parameters for the 41 VCU-224 environmental controller. Additional parameters may appear on your controller based on the configuration setup. Visit advancingalternatives.com slash knowledge center to learn more about configuration settings and other options, including using fans instead of heaters. Type VCU help in the knowledge center search bar to access installation instructions, wiring diagrams, and more.